stars in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. to the high-kicking showbiz explosion that is Stars in Their Eyes. Have we got a show for you? Yes, we have. <laughs> Over the next 50 musical minutes, you will see a star who began his career in a duo, then went solo in so many ways. A singer who began his career with brotherly love before going it alone. A 70s soul diva who's still filling dance floors. A star who produces hits and movies. And a singer-songwriter who's king and queen of the ballad, yes. In the words of David Essex, we're gonna make you a star. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> so, about to become one of the turns of the century, here's star guest number one. My name's Wayne Dilks, I'm 24 and I'm a plumber. At the moment, we're actually um, putting in the central heating for the hour 60s, keep them nice and warm for the winter. But in plumbing, you sometimes get little mishaps. This one time, I was fitting some heating for this old lady, and she said to me, you're very young, I hope you don't get many leaks. I said, I never get any leaks. And uh, 10 minutes later, I flooded the house. I am married to uh, Kay, she's 23. She works in the plumbing industry, funny enough. Um, we're just moving out, so that's something to keep us busy, new beginning for us. When I found out I was going to be on the show, I actually went round my mum and dad's and told them, and, and my mum was screaming, you know, for, for ages, you know, really ecstatic about it. Um, my sister was like that as well, but my brother is really quiet and he said, I'm not surprised, you're good and you should be on there. The song I'm going to do tonight is a bit of a quick number and I absolutely love it, but the only concern I've got is the dance routines, a bit demanding, especially when I've got to hit those eye outs. And tonight he's swapping his overalls for a very different uniform. Please welcome Wayne Dilks. <laughs> you first applied in 1993 as the person that you're going to be tonight, but you've also applied as other people. Yeah, um, I first, uh, after the person I'm going to be tonight, I went as Matt Goss and Peter Cunaff from D Ream, Gary Barlow and Elton John. Right. Uh, now, Elton John is actually a clue to the person that you're going to be tonight, so give me a few more clues. Right, he was part of a very successful 80s duo. He had his first solo number one uh, with a song he wrote when he was 17, and he had a major court battle with his record company in the 90s. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Wayne. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Mr George Michael. George Michael! <laughs> it's a fair Going inside to sing outside. Tonight, singing live, Wayne Dilks is George Michael!
Well done, Wayne. <laughs> well, after eight years and applying as all those different people, you have finally found your voice. And not only the voice, the look. Did you hear the reaction when you came in? You were George Michael. And a dance routine, you don't care, do you? Yeah, wicked. Wicked. <laughs> It was fantastic. Well done, mate. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Diltz as George Michael. <laughs> we learned an important lesson from George. You can always turn a bad situation into a great song. And that's an attitude he shares with our next singer. Bringing one of the world's most reclusive stars back into the spotlight, here's star guest number two. My name's Mike Powell. I'm 31 and I'm from Liverpool. I work as a graphic designer, uh, I have done for the past 12 years and I'm really passionate about it, I absolutely love what I do uh, and to earn a living in that way, uh, being creative is such a really nice thing to, to be able to do. My friends and family are really excited that I'm going to be on Stars in the Rise, more so than me. Um, I'm absolutely terrified to be honest. When the person I'm going to be tonight was famous, uh, I wasn't even born. I remember hearing a song I'm going to sing tonight on the radio, uh, and I loved it ever since then. It's become one of my favourite songs of all time. I've only really performed in, in karaoke bars before, uh, where I haven't been the centre of attention. Normally, um, everyone's usually getting on with it the night, having a drink, and tonight, I know everyone's going to be looking at me. <laughs> so let's look and learn a little more from Mike Powell. I have to tell you, when this man first came here, he described himself as being deep, humble, not very confident, and a worrier about everything. And that could be describing the person that you're going to be tonight. Yes, because he's a, a bit shy as well. And yet you are a shy man. Tell me how that shyness manifests itself. Um, well, I'd rather send an email than, than uh, make a phone call, because my average phone call lasts about 20 seconds, if that. <laughs> Yeah, but emails are not really very secure or reliable, are they? Not really. Um, I sent an email to a friend in, in work, um, but I accidentally sent it to the managing director, who was quite sort of formal. And what did the email say? Uh, hello, gorgeous. How was your weekend? <laughs> and uh, did you get the sack? No, she kept on winking at me all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> that tells us a bit about the man. Give us a few more clues. Well, he's part of a male trio in the 60s. Mm -hmm. He had a bigger fan club than the Beatles. Tell us about his biggest hits. Um, the biggest hits include Make It Easy On Yourself and the song I'm going to sing tonight. Tell us who you're going to be, Mike. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Scott Walker. Scott Walker! <laughs> this star is going to shine ever more. Tonight, singing live, my pal is Scott Walker!
Well done, Mark. Thank you, sir. We've just had an email saying you look gorgeous. So your managing <laughs> director's impressed. You said you were most worried about your friends watching. And I know you don't like to talk, but they will be absolutely speechless after that. It was fantastic. Did Thank you enjoy you. it? I did, very much so. So did we. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Powell as Scott Walker. <laughs> well done, This show is all about putting your mental musical muscles to the test, so here's something to tax your brain during the break. Waiting backstage is our next star guest. Take a look at this face. She's a telephone canvasser from Nottingham, who's about to become a disco diva from the 70s. Get out your pipe and dear stalker Sherlock, I'll see you in two. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in the Rise. In the 70s hit D-I-S-C-O, Ottawan told us disco stood for D delightful, I irresistible, S super sexy, C such a cutie, and O whoa whoa. <laughs> when we all knew most discos were D dingy, I want to go home, S sticky sofa, C chock a block, and overpriced. But <laughs> it wasn't all bad, and we've got a true classic from the disco era, courtesy of star guest number three. My name's Jackie, I'm 30, and I'm from Nottingham. Can I sit down in this chair for mummy? My daily routine every day, I get Melissa to nursery five days a week. Um, I come to work. Like, I only work part-time there because I only work 20 hours a week. It's more flexible for me, you see, so I can spend more time with her. Yeah. Melissa has a lot of fun at nursery. She's made so many friends there. The girls, they're absolutely wonderful and she really loves them. My job is a telephone canvasser. Basically, that means we're promoting two customers over the phone to try and get our reps in to give them no obligation-free prices. The job really works well for me because I'm on the phones all day, especially because I love to talk all the time. Now, I've made some really, really good friends here. They're not just work friends, they're really good friends and close friends. Now, we're working really, really hard now to try and get a trip to America. So if we do win it, it's going to be fantastic. I chose the person I was going to be tonight because it's never been done before in Stars in the Eyes. And I thought that might be the best way of trying to get on the show. And luckily, I sounded like her anyway, so that's why I'm here. So it's the first time here for two names. And the first is Jackie Pottinger. <laughs> You've always wanted to sing, haven't you? Mm -hmm. And your mother's always encouraged you, and there she is in the audience now, <laughs> encouraging you now. But what did everybody else say? Well, a lot of people at school said I couldn't sing at all. Um, I went to church, and a few people said I had a lovely voice, but that didn't give me that much confidence, really. But it was your best mate, Kirsty, who came to the rescue, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, she was the first person to tell me that I had a fantastic voice, and that was really all I needed. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, what was your first performance, then? Um, I was in a band for about a year, singing. We used to practice in the living room. Um, we decided to split up. So then we decided to have a first and last gig. Uh, so then we all paid money uh, for this crummy little bar in Nottingham. Um, I thought I'd be OK when I faced the audience, but I couldn't face them at all. I did the entire gig looking at the band and I wouldn't ever face the audience at all. <laughs> so this is only your second performance in front of an audience? Yeah, and this will be the first time I'll ever be facing them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jackie, tell me something about this lady you're going to be. OK, she was born in Alabama in 1945. Uh, she sang gospel since the age of five. Um, in her late teens, she sang with Aretha Franklin in church. Um, and in the late 70s, she had a string of disco hits, including the song I'm going to be singing tonight. Tell us who you're going to be, Jackie. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Candy Statton. Candy Statton! <laughs> She's got the look and the sound. It's tonight, singing live, Jackie Pottinger is Candy Statton!
Well done, Jackie. <laughs> I know it was a great strategy, though. Going on as somebody who has never been done before. <laughs> you see, and you set the standard now. I don't see how that can be bettered. <laughs> Honestly, you should not be having your voice on the telephone. It should be on the stage. <laughs> your mate Kirsty was right. I'm going to just oh. say what a brilliant time we've had with you for the last I've two loved days. I've it. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very we've much. We've done nothing but laugh over it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Pottinger as Candy Stanton. <laughs> is often mistaken for being John Malkovich and his band are a dream, so here's a wake-up call from star guest number four. My name's Jamie Bell, I'm 20 years old and I'm from Guernsey in the Channel Islands. I'm currently studying at Farnborough College Technology and I'm studying um, a HND in Aerospace Engineering. Uh, the HND entails aerodynamics mainly and also material testing and the basic overview of the working of jet engines. From a very early age, I've been um, interested in flying. I mean, I started doing flying when I was 16, and um, I've just been interested in how you can actually be able to get this huge chunk of metal into the air. But I'm not too sure which sector of the aircraft industry I want to get into. My brother Andrew made me start singing. I mean, he really, really brought it out and made me lose my nervousness in front of people. One of the first songs that um, I performed in front of public was, is the song that I'm going to be performing tonight. The first audition actually went surprisingly quickly. I mean, I didn't expect, I thought it was going to drag on, really, really drag on, but it didn't. It actually, I mean, I sung the first line and then some, miraculously, I was at the last line. I didn't know what happened in between. I've seen the outfit that I'm going to be wearing tonight and I think it's really, really good. I mean, it's something that I would normally wear, probably. My favourite thing is the shoes. I mean, if they offered it to me, I would, I would take it in a flash. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't question it at all. Stepping into the stylish shoes of a stylish star, here's... Jamie Bell. <laughs> okay. So tell me, Jamie, how old were you when you actually first started singing? I started singing at the age of nine, but I never sang in front of anyone. I was way too scared. Then it was your brother who overheard you. Yeah, he, he encouraged me at the age of 15 to start singing. At the age of 17, I got the courage to sing in front of my family. And how old were you when you gave your first performance? I was 18. Tell me a bit about this person then. Well, he was born in 1960. His band is based in Athens, Georgia. He started off playing in a cover band in St. Louis, but then he formed his own band, which was called Twisted Kites, but then became R.E.M. R.E.M. Tell yeah. us who you're going to be tonight, Jamie. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Michael Stipe. Michael Stipe! More new adventures in hi-fi as tonight Singing live, Jamie Bell is Michael Stipe! Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Rainy 
You know, people do make some fantastic sacrifices to come on this show, <laughs> yeah. but I'm sorry to have to tell you that that look really suits you. Oh, thanks. I th oh, thank honestly, I really think you look terrific. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Bell as Michael Stake. <laughs> Here's another musical identity parade. Take a look at our next unusual suspect. This harmless-looking student from Bidston is wanted for taking someone else's voice with due care and attention and making it her own. Do not approach her. She's dangerously talented. We'll have more information after the break. Until then, don't have nightmares. See you. <laughs> Stars in the rise. So far, George Michael told us to go outside, but Scott Walker said, don't bother, the sun ain't gonna shine anymore. Candy Statton doesn't care, cos young hearts should run free. But the man on the moon, Michael Stipe, is in the best place, cos there's a storm brewing. And our next star was waiting for the heavens to open in 1962. But 40 years on, waiting for the doors to open, is star guest number five. My name's Laura Joy Pelling, and I'm 21 years old, and I come from the Wirral. I live at home with my parents. Well, my dad's a chef and my mum's housewife and I um, enjoy going shopping and that with my mum. She's great to go shopping with and she's got a really good eye for bargains and quality. Sometimes we go shopping in Chester. It makes a change from the shops in the world. It's really nice in Chester. I'm studying imaginative writing at Liverpool John Moores University. We do lots of things like reading poetry, writing and short stories, prose. I also write my own songs. I've been playing the guitar since I was about 14 years old and um, I sing and I write lots of my own lyrics. And when I saw Maria Callas on one of the shows, I was really impressed by her. I watched Stars in Her Eyes often on the Saturday and I thought, well, it's about time I went in for it. If I don't go in for it now, then I never will. And this show proves you should never say never. So let's welcome Laura Pelling. <laughs> Now then, you're very like this person that you're going to be in many ways because you both spent a life in song, actually, because you started writing in your teens, as this person did, and you've got other things in common as well, like you've been in front of very difficult audiences. Tell us about them. Yes, um, I went busking with my sister in um, Liverpool's Matthew Street one day, and we didn't realise that the football was on. So next thing we knew, we were surrounded by hundreds of, like, football fans are all drunk out of their minds. So we thought, oh, we'd better do something quick here. So we decided that we'd sing Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand's duo, Tell Him. And then they all started throwing loads of money and we made about 50 quid. <laughs> nice. OK, Laura, tell me a bit about the person you're going to be tonight. She was the teenage sweetheart, sweetheart of Neil Sedaka, and he wrote a song about her. Yes, he did. And in the 1960s, she wrote songs for artists like Dusty Springfield and the Monkees. Mm -hmm. And in the 70s, she brought out her big hit album, which was called Tapestry. That's right. But you're going to sing a song from her pre-hippie period, her first hit in 1962. Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Carol King. Carol King! 
king and queen of the ballad tonight, singing live, Laura Pennant is Carol King. What should I write? What can I say? How can I tell you how much I miss you? The weather here has been as nice as it can be. Although it doesn't really matter much to me. For all the fun I'll have while you're so far away, it might as well. Well, I, 1962, I was 12 years old. I was in the Sandylands Hotel in St Anne's with my mum and dad when I first heard that record, and I loved it then, and I loved it now, because it was so <laughs> accurate. It really was, and I know you played Liverpool drunken fans. <laughs> they are nothing to this audience. <laughs> did you get a penny? No. But did you win them over? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Pelling as Carol King. <laughs> They've all got what it takes, but there can only be one winner. So, studio audience, cast your votes now. <laughs> and while they choose a champion, let's have another look at all five amazing makeovers. First, Wayne Dilts was out and about as George Michael. Let's go outside in the sunshine. I know you want to, but you can't see. Needs the sun when Mike Powell shone as Scott Walker. The sun ain't gonna shine anymore. The moon ain't gonna rise in the sky. The tears are always cloud in your eyes. When you're without love. Sweetest candy, Jackie Pottinger got the look and the voice of Candy Staten. Brush with eyeliner and Jamie Bell became Michael Stipe. If you believe, they put a man on the moon, man on the moon. If you believe, there's nothing obviously, nothing is cool. 
And finally, Laura Pelling was king for a night as Carol King. Oh, it might as well rain until September. We have a winner. Is it George Michael? Scott Walker? Candy Statton? Michael Stipe? Or Carol King? And the winner is Scott Walker! <laughs> I'm speechless, to be yeah. honest. You're always speechless. That's your job. You're a shy... This is just what a shy man needs, isn't it? That was amazing. Was oh, it? Was yeah. it good for you? Yes, it was. Very you well. deserve to win. It was a sensational performance. But for a man who's... who can barely get over his shyness to do an audition, it was a nightmare to do the heats. And guess what? You've got to do it all again on the live <laughs> final. In front of millions of people, so no pressure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and it's all live, too. <laughs> Are you glad you did it now? Yes, I did. I yeah. am very much so, yeah. It was I'm fabulous, thank you. Me too. I think it was a spot-on performance, especially with the competition. Good man. And if you can stand the heats, get into the final. And who will Mike be joining there? Our first winner, Justine Riddick, as the new queen of clubs, Anastasia. Mike's got one more chance to practice on screen before that live grand final. So let's welcome back Mike Powell as Scott Walker. Good night. If you've got the voice, we've got the stage. For details on how you could be walking through those famous doors on the next series of Stars in Their Eyes, phone 0870 600 1020. Girl, I need you. I can't go on.